Hey, so in this video, I show you how to make Italian lardo at home. It's basically cured pork back fat and Italian classic. Ideally, you get a thick piece of pork back fat. Um, however, if you only have access to thinner ones like I do, this also works completely fine. So yeah, just stick to whatever you can get. So we need white pepper, salt and cure, black pepper, rosemary, and some bay leaves and that's everything we can start first crush the bay leaves and add all these spices and the salt into a mortar and crush it it doesn't need to be super fine it should look a bit like this and then we can add it onto the pork back fat and distribute it evenly front and back side and then add it to a vacuum bag. And this makes this method so foolproof and easy. You just calculate the salt, the cure and the spices, depending on the weight of the pork back fat. And now you need to make sure that everything goes into the vacuum bag. So all the salt, all the cure, all the spices, and then vacuum seal the back fat. I personally seal it twice just to make sure that it doesn't open and then write the date and the name on it and then I put it into the fridge for about three months for this thickness. If you have a thicker piece of meat this will take even longer. You can cure it up to like six months especially when it's a thick piece. Um, but this one for example I left three months in the fridge and then it looks like this, cut it open. And then you can probably see it changed the color a bit because of the spices and then also the texture. It smells really good already. And now you can rinse it under cold water and then pat it dry afterwards. And if you don't like the color through which came through the spices, you can just cut a thin layer away and then you will have like a clear white lardo. And yeah, so how to eat this? Um, I personally, as you can see it, sliced it super thin and then put it on a toasted bread, which is still warm. This way uh, the thin pieces melt down together with some salt and pepper and yeah, what should I say? It tastes amazing. It's so easy. However, like you can really taste the spices. Awesome. As always, the, the full recipe is below. If you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.